at least you got that money back because now you can afford to buy uh, an NFT that was originally (laughs) $2.9 million. But now, as far as my understanding goes, is only 6800 bucks. That's amazing. You got your 90 grand back. You've got way more than enough money to buy this NFT that is definitely worth uh, o- almost $3 million. Can I just say, can I just say no that I was delighted to <laughs> read too. this headline? This is great. <laughs> this is so funny, okay? <laughs> this is the this uh, original article is from the guardian here massive props the guardian love you guys i need to donate i haven't yet i really should uh this is the mona lisa of the digital world says crypto entrepreneur sina estavi who bought the nft in march of 2021 2.9 million dollars for an NFT of Jack Dorsey's first tweet, which to be clear, guys, it is non-fungible. Okay, this cannot simply be replicated by right-clicking and save as. Oh, jeez. It's non-fungible. Oh, man. Inspect element, type it in yourself. Oof, beautiful. And, you know, the last thing you would want is to spend $2.9 million on a, on a fungible token. <laughs> If you could have a non-fungible one. (laughs) So he bought it in March 2021 because this is definitely a very valuable, sensible asset. One of my favorite quotes in here is when he's when he's putting it up for sale. He says, "It's important." <laughs> Have you read this? It's sorry. This is actually just amazing, and it's it's almost difficult to get through. It's important for me. Who wants to buy it? I will not sell this NFT to anyone <laughs> because I do not think everyone deserves this NFT. It's a picture of a tweet. Okay, and this is great. <laughs> Come so, on. So bro. he bought it in March 2021 for $2.9 million. But apparently his efforts to resell it, regardless of who's actually allowed to bid, <laughs> have apparently been uh, pretty unsuccessful so far with a top bid of just. Six thousand eight hundred dollars. Nice, as of which Thursday. is a lot of money, but compared to two point nine million, like literally doesn't change the number. It's still two point nine million that he's Ooh. losing. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, Conrad's like, give you three fifty for it. Best I can do. I just. <sighs> I find it. I find. Okay. With cryptocurrency, we are actually in the process of trying to figure out a way to accept cryptocurrency for some of our products and services. I think that cryptocurrency does have the potential to have a value. I I think that with refinement, it can be an amazing technology, a force for change, maybe a force for good in the world. That much I can say. NFTs? Yeah, I don't know. There, it's just, there's such a blatantly I th- obvious I grift. I think there's also probably utility there as well. Sure, I think it just essentially has, like, maybe if there's if there's I don't even know if there has been because I haven't looked into it enough. But maybe there's some amount of utility okay. that's already being used for it that's actually legit. Let, and then like ninety percent of it is scams. Let's talk about the dumb stuff the games industry is doing with NFTs, right? So NFTs, uh, one of the big pitches that I've heard for NFTs in gaming is that you can have an NFT of say some digital artwork that could even be transported across games. Between games, yeah. Right. Okay. Except here's the problem with that. What's the difference? between having it centralized and stored on Valve servers or uh, EA servers or Ubisoft servers or Nintendo servers or whatever the case may be, what's the value of having it stored somewhere else or having this token if ultimately the exact same actions that could cause it to stop working, uh, like if that that particular game shuts down or whatever, right? So they delete your 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 digital item, would also cause it to stop working because now you just own a digital item for a game they shut down. Like, what's the difference? Also, also, real chads just don't buy any skins, whether you can transfer them to game to game or not. It's so, true. So you you don't need it anyways. No utility. Just don't buy it. It's true. The day I I I'm I'm making a promise. I'm making a commitment right now. The day that one of my kids 
spends money on a on a digital on a digital d- thing to look at. They're off the computer for a quarter. For a quarter. For a quarter. For a kid, that's a long time. It's a long time. They will learn. That's a long time. And they time. will learn a valuable like I, lesson. I remember like if I got grounded for like a month, it felt like an eternity. That's a that's a that's a minute. One one more thing before we get off this topic. Um he said okay. It's not a he said. While announcing the NFT sale in a tweet on the 6th of April, oh, Estavi no. pledged to give 50% of the proceeds, which he expected to be at least $25 million, <laughs> to charity. Oh, hey, thanks. Amazing. Thanks for the hypothetical money for your hypothetical asset. Thanks for watching, and thanks to XSplit for sponsoring this week's clips. XSplit is perfect for content creators or businesses, and you can save 10% off with code LINUS using the link in the video description.